We're going to start out our service maybe a little bit untraditionally to some of you. I know um, when I was a kid growing up, we, you guys remember altar calls? Any of you, anyone remember altar calls, like invitations? There's a few hands here. All right. So we used to sing this song a lot called Just As I Am. And, um, but ironically, now we're, we're singing at the beginning of a service. And I think the point of that is just as believers, we don't need to wait for, you know, don't, don't listen to this, Pastor Doug. We don't need a, a pastor necessarily to, to, to convict us. You know what I'm saying? We have the Holy Spirit with us all the time. And it's not at the end of a service that we need conviction. That, that's the time we're going to come forward and we're going to give our lives to God. It, just as I am, take me, receive me. It's all the time in our lives. We have the Holy Spirit convicting us of sin in our lives and convicting us of the service we need to give back to Christ. And so we're going to start out our service singing this. A little untraditional, I know. But just as I am, let's sing this as believers. Let's just give our lives to him all the time. Just as I am. Just as I am.
my Savior and my God. With Christ my Savior, sing one with Himself. Revelation chapter 4 says, After this I looked, and behold, the door was standing open in heaven. And once I was in the Spirit, and behold, the throne stood in heaven. And one seated on the throne, he who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnian. And around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and seated on the thrones were 24 elders, clothed in white garments, and golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashing of lightning and rumbling and peals of thunder. And before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which were the seven spirits of God. And day and night never ceased, they are to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is to come. And they cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, O Lord God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by you will they all exist and were created. We look for that hope. You have come here today to this church. The church has actually come in the doors, gathered around from all different parts of this local area, and some from outside. Nice to have some of those visiting with us, believers in Christ from even around the world. We gather here because of the hope that comes. We're going to hear a message today about that hope, about David, and about how last week we saw the journey from anointing to appointing, and we were in that waiting room if you were here last week to hear that message or watched online. This week we take that next step and are able to see a gospel message Jesus Christ proclaimed as we see through the vision of the Old Testament what God's plan was in coming in the new. And so today we come, we have the opportunity to sing, we have the opportunity to come before the throne, and we have the opportunity to praise our God. If you have come in today with a heavy heart, if you have come in today searching, this is the place where we'll open up God's Word. God's Word will speak to you. It's not what we do or what we say. It's not those who play instruments well and proclaim a message through that. But it's through the Word of God and what God's Spirit will do in you. So if you are searching today, if you are heavy-hearted, if you're coming in joy-filled from a week that you've been in God's Word, been able to share God's Word, all of those are here is where we can come. Come before that throne, come before that heavenly place and seek God. We are not perfect people, but we are people who come to seek a perfect God. And we're able to find it in the Scriptures today. As we have the opportunity to do that, We come in prayer, and we desire to seek God in prayer, seek God in this time that we have together. Let's pray. Father, we come before you, lifting up our voices in song, looking towards that blessed hope, that time we will be united with you. As scriptures say, your throne and how majestic it is, just the pictures we were able to see here, in Revelation with the rainbow that looks like an emerald. Something we can't even imagine, but so descriptive in its writing. Lord, we seek you today. We come in with some heavy hearts, some sin that has wrapped us up this week, some joy-filled because we've been able to see your grace brought into another's life through the sharing of the gospel others that have been strengthened in their walk with you this week through meditating, reading your word, taking time of prayer. We're grateful, Lord, that this is a people that come before you that recognize that this moment of prayer is not the only time of our conversation with you, but it is, it is a jump start to this coming week. It is the opportunity for us to recognize our need daily to be on our knees before you. 
And God, we humbly come before you today, seeking that your spirit move within the preaching, proclaiming of your word, that the spirit, God, would move in our hearts through the singing and worshiping and praising of you. We are grateful for this opportunity to come together as God's people and recognize how powerful and how planned purpose you have for us today at Faith. May you bless this service. May you bless the time of singing. May you make our hearts open to your word. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and stand up together again. He became sin who knew no sin. Jesus, Messiah. He became sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness and he humbled himself and he carried the cross love so
We have two coming for baptism this morning. This is uh, really, really exciting uh, that Den has come because Den has come as God has taken her down a journey of faith and coming to know Christ and then leading her to this point. I wish she could share a story with you for a while because as we were standing here talking, it's been a great journey and uh, how God has just led each step of the way. And so you come this morning having received Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you come today to identify yourself as a follower uh, of Jesus Christ. Baptism and these waters don't save. But really, we, uh, they say to people, I am a follower of Christ. It's an act of obedience. And Denna comes today to do that. Denna Gary. Man, we're thrilled, Denna. Just thrilled. We've been praying, watched your struggle from a distance, and just watched you go through stuff. And now today, so I'll step up here. If you would, fold your hands if you would. Denna, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in obedience to his command. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. God bless you. Okay, so exciting. And this is uh, Sam Hahn comes today for uh, to follow the Lord in baptism. Sam, we're thrilled that uh, you're here today. I gotta tell a story, can I? Uh, this week, uh, she was telling her young son Noah about her baptism, and she t- said she's going in the dunk tank. <laughs> and her son Noah, who's how old? Three and a half. Three and a half wanted to know if he could throw softballs at the, at the target. To, 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 and so she was trying to explain that that's not quite how it works. Sam, you've trusted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and come today to follow him in obedience. We're thrilled. Samantha, upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, in obedience to his command, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried in his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. is built my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly trust in Jesus name built on nothing less. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name.
the trumpet sound. alone faultless and before the throne Christ alone Christ alone cornerstone weak made strong in the Savior's love
shall die.